you must be consistent. I'm going to take my walk. Yeah, we, yeah, we walk for help. Stay healthy. Well, you got to die with some. Okay, something you'll have to die with. <laughs> you know, you don't have to live your life in misery. <laughs> All right, let, 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 let. free will offering. Have any of you read the scripture about free will offering? Have any of you read the scripture about tithing and offering? What do the scripture say about free will offering and tithing and offering? Exactly what do the scripture say? Now, as we said before, free will offering is the things that you offer for the building of the tabernacle under Moses. I mean, it was a whole lot of things offered. Animals was not offering for the building of the tabernacle. Go read, read, read the Bible. Even the gold. That was free will offering. <laughs> even the silver, even the sacred vessels. That was free will offering. Free will offering was all for the building of the tabernacle. Now, yes, you can offer free will offering. You could take no more, but you could offer free will offering to God. Now, your free will offering of gold and silver and precious metals and ornament ornaments and even the veil, remember the veil in the temple? That was donated free will offering. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now all those things that were offered free will offering for the building of the temple, that was not sacrificed unto God. Yet, there was a free will offering that was sacrificed unto God. Your animals. Livestock, sheep, goat, that was free will also. Yes, you could, you could, you could bring gold to the temple. <clears throat> yes, you could. You could bring talents. You know what talent is? Have you ever read that in the Bible? I encourage you to go read the scripture. You do a lot of talking and talk cheap. Go read the Bible about all I just named. Now, where well, Ty Tips are here, come. You cannot find that in the Bible nowhere. The scripture tell you what tithing was. Okay? Now, let me say this. I encourage you to read You ain't gotta come on and get and get sassy and bless me out. But I encourage you to read the Bible. Why do we have we have to fall out over the Bible? Read the scripture. You could bring gold, precious ornaments, diamonds, all kind of material things to the temple. And it's for the use of the temple. 
remember when you took your tithe to the temple and it says if the way be too far for thee sell your tithe put the money in your hand and when you get to the place where the Lord have put his name there which is temple buy back and that come from your money changers and that Jesus kicked over the table though yes so there's nothing uh, if you're going to deal with scripture let's deal with scripture but what about talents talents was gold and silver that was weighed had to be weighed W-E-I-G-H-T E-D for scales all that's in the scripture but you're not taught that which all the seal of the Old Testament now you are right in saying well tithing is for the or was for the well you say is yeah, for the but it was for the portion of it Sacrifice, upkeep, and supporting the temple and the things in the temple. Don't you know everybody that worked in the temple? Not just the priests, all of them. Don't you know they were paid for their service? They were paid, actually paid. Talents. When they rebuilt the temple again, Ezra and Nehemiah and all of them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I restored the temple. They put everything back in place. All right. Read the scripture, people, for yourself. I didn't want to do that. Talent, free will offering. And it wasn't no certain amount of no free will offering. It wasn't no certain amount of money. It was whatever that you purpose in your heart to donate to the house of God. That's what it was. There ain't no more house of God down here now. But that's what it was. Whatever you decide to give. Look here. And if you go back to Moses, the people had gave so much to Moses had said, okay, that's enough now. We got enough now. Your pastor ain't gonna say that's enough. <laughs> that devil gonna say, keep on bringing. <laughs> All right. There's no more temple. But read. Give correct information. Now, Jesus spoke about giving to those that have need. Jesus didn't tell, Jesus, Jesus didn't tell nobody to go give nothing to no temple. Remember Jesus told that boy, sell what you have and give to the poor? Remember Jesus told his disciples, sell what you have and give alms? Uh-huh. Now, now, our, now our buildings must be sustained too, and they sustain with money, not with tithing and offering, but with money. With money. And that's what it's sustained with. I give money. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, my, my house, my apartment is sustained with money. The church building that we call it is sustained with money. Not tithing it off. You ain't giving that to God. So stop lying. All right, now. Go back and look at everything I told you. Everything I mentioned. Go in the scripture and look at it. Be biblical correct. 
biblical sound. Even with the Old Testament, be biblically sound. <laughs> Why can't nobody call you a liar? That's enough. That's enough. You could bring gold and all kinds of things to the temple. Yes, you could. In Jerusalem. You could do that. And that was free will. Ooh, hey now. And that was free will offering. Mm hmm It was no certain amount. And it was all kind of things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The people working in the temple, they had to eat. <laughs> what do you think they ate? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same thing you ate. Your tithing, your offering. Same thing the widows and Levites ate. And also some were sacrificed. The animals were sacrificed. Some of them, not all of them. That's enough. 